Yeah. Let's think of our movement. Yeah. When we come next time, <laughs> when we come <laughs> next time, That's right. we should go over to that sweet building yeah. and make them think we're going to have a nice, neat little rally. <laughs> and let them bring the six little offices that they have here. <laughs> When we get in front of the building, let's just inch toward the door, make our speeches, and then I open the door and I leave the charge. Let's take Tweet over. Yeah. 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 Wow. When we do that kind of stuff, then you'll see who's That's really with history. you. That's you'll history. Know, you'll see who's really with See, this is neat. When we have to really throw down, I'll be on the front line and I'll get arrested first. But we'll see who's really with you. Yeah. This, is, this is neat. This is easy. When we gotta really up the ante and say that we're not playing with you, the reason why and I'm very serious, the only reason why they're gonna continue to do it is because they know business will go on as usual when they do these things. If they think for one second that you'll shut Tweed down or shut this city down, a shut city hall down, and the reason why we're talking like this, there's nothing else for us to do. We been to the, we been to the hearing, we been to the press conferences, we've had the marches. Our children are our future. That's our heart. young people, you are messing with our jewels. That's and when right. you mess with our jewels, our young people, our priceless gem for the future, yeah, no, you got us angry. That's and right. when you fire us up, yes. there's a price yes. that you're going to have to pay. That's right. Power to the people! Power, Power to the people! people. Well, you know, we got to let the mayor know, let the chancellor know that we're not playing. We're not just going to have these little demonstrations and press conferences, thousands of people screaming them at hearings. We need to really say that we are not going to tolerate this shutdown. I think we need to continue the legal process. We're suing. We got them in court. And we should continue the street process, except we need to up the ante. We need to let them know business will not go on as usual. The next step, I think, should be at the Tweed building and make it difficult for people to come and work, come to work, that we need to shut Tweed down and let them know we're not going to tolerate this. The other step is we need to put some pressure on the state legislature to repeal the mayoral control bill that they passed last year. Somebody up in there needs to say it didn't work. He's, he's, he's incrementally privatizing the schools through charter schools. He's allowing for whites to rip it off with these contracts, no-bid contracts, consulting contracts. He's failing our children. They're not really ready to prepare to go to CUNY. I am the People's CUNY Chair, and, and most of the, uh, the students that graduate after 12 years and they come to go to CUNY, they can't read or write, or they have challenges with reading and writing and have to go to the community colleges to get remedial stuff because so they took it out of the four-year colleges. They have failed us. And the state legislators gave this man control over a 1.1 million children system, and they need to rectify that. It was our political representative. They supported it. They supported it. They supported it. I remember when it first happened the first time around, Roger Green and all of them, when he was up there, he supported it. And now a lot of these uh, elected officials are up there supporting mayoral control. And that's our problem. We need to get real black elected officials up in there and get people that's going to stand up for the people. That's why we're building our movement, Operation Power, a new political organization that's going to get radical, revolutionaries, militants. People are not afraid to be black, and people are committed to our people into electoral politics. It ain't good enough to call people Uncle Toms and sell out Negroes and all of that because they don't care. As long as they can keep getting elected, they don't care what you say to them at a rally. And that's the movement we need to build. All right, thank you for your comments on that. Yes, now, sir. let's get to the issue. It's obviously driving you back and forth out here today, man, which is David Patterson, or uh, what seems to be generally uh, a, a reaction to the sudden prominence of blacks in electoral politics mm -hmm. from the national level 
right mm -hmm. down. To but you know what it is? It's not just electoral politics, because we've been in electoral politics. We've had thousands. I got an article in the Amsterdam News called From Governor Pinchback, 1872, to Governor Patterson, 2008. Race still matters. There's only been four governors in the history of the United States of America. Four. Two of them were elected in 2008, Governor Duvall, Duvall Patrick in Massachusetts, and 1990, Governor Douglas Wilder in Virginia. Governor Douglas Wilder, you notice they say the first black mayor since Reconstruction. Reconstruction was that period after enslavement from 1865 to 1880, where blacks had 600 blacks in the state legislative body. We had U.S. Senators. We had U.S. House of Representatives. We had uh, judges, commissioners, sheriffs, and we had two lieutenant governors. One of the lieutenant governors was PBS Pinchback. And he ascended to the governorship when Governor Warbaum, who was his governor, was impeached. White men in power don't want you in the executive positions. That's why we just getting the first black president and they're on his case. They don't want you in governor positions because those are executive positions and that wields a lot of power. So that's why the attacks are coming. It's history's continuity. Repeating itself. Repeating itself. The leopard, no, that's right, this is the second reconstruction. So I'm not surprised at these tax. Yankee tickets? Yankee tickets that he paid for, and he was a good father taking his son out to the Yankee game. They said he got it free, and he later didn't tell him that, and he later on paid for it. It's Yankee tickets he paid for him. That's no reason why he shouldn't govern. Does anybody make the claim that that affected his ability to govern? To govern. Come on now, because some Yankee tickets, and then his thing with the uh, domestic violence, we cannot tolerate that. That's something that any woman that has that kind of attack on them, we should definitely support that woman. But for Governor Patterson, let the investigation take its course and let the chips fall where they may. But right now, if President Clinton can be impeached, lie, and engage in sexual misconduct and govern over 50 states, then Patterson, under investigation, can govern one state. If Joe Bruno, the white senator who was investigated and then later convicted, can still maintain his position while under investigation, then so could Patterson. If this speaker right here, Christine Quinn, can be under investigation for funding groups that did not exist and still be speaker, then Governor Patterson can still govern the state of New York. Thank you. My pleasure.